Whew. So windsurfing was invented in the 1960s that makes it about 50 to 60 years old. While windsurfing is a relatively young sport, it does have a lot of history. And I've been windsurfing since only 13 years, but before that a lot of things have been going on in the sport, especially regarding the gear. I do have a lot of gear, but what I don't have is gear from back in the days. Windsurfing gear people used 20, 30 years ago. Check this out guys. This board right here is the result of 50 to 60 years of development in the windsurfing industry. I think that's pretty crazy. But today I want to find out what people have been riding back in the days. Even over the course of me being a windsurfer, the gear has already become so much easier to use and to start windsurfing on. And that makes me wonder how hard it must have been to learn windsurfing on the gear back then. And that's part of the reason why I'm so curious to try out some older gear and see how it compares to today's gear. And while the shape of the boards have changed a lot, also the colors and the design of the boards have changed a lot. But I do think those old boards just look so iconic. So we are here on the beach with a bunch of old gear and I have somebody else here because I don't have that old gear but uh, Thomas right here was kind enough to bring that gear with him and Thomas is not only a viewer, thanks for that, thanks for the support, he's also the winner of uh, the 5-3 combat sale which I gave away in the giveaway and I will put the winners of all the gear down below in the video description but if you are a winner you probably already know about it because I informed you so good luck for next time I think that was a cool thing first of all I'm gonna give the sale to Thomas <laughs> Uh, yeah, I want to try out this old gear. We have an old Mistral board here. We have the original windsurfer Super old sail and uh, yeah, I'm super curious to try all of this out. So Wind looks good. I would say let's go on the water, right? This board is the distance keeper for us. <laughs> Jesus, that's heavy 21 kilograms. That's the complete sail. Nowadays, that's how they pack the surf wings. <laughs> yeah, right. And don't forget the chapter. No way! <laughs> <laughs> factory, uh, factory yeah or it's condition. the original one yeah i have actually no idea what this is for but i'm sure he'll tell me seems like it's the base and what you would consider an extension or something <laughs> i think it's smart <laughs> not a sail this is a tarp <laughs> that's what people cover their cars with are you yeah. ready for some cool B-roll? Of course. So this is our new Near Pride 2021 prototype. Um, we actually made it a little bit looser this time. We wanted the pressure point to move around a little bit more in the sail. The old sail was just way too stable, which made it really easy to sail. So this is actually a much more challenging sail and I'm looking forward to bringing this on the market in 2021. <laughs> well, but this is, uh, feels interesting. The mass is softer than I expected. I, was, I thought it was going to be a very stiff mass. But Curious to try this out on the water. So I just did a quick warm up round with my good old slalom gear and that was obviously fantastic and a lot of fun. And the next thing I'm going to do now is the complete opposite. The oldest winter gear we have here, the uh, original windsurfer. And I'm curious if I can even jive with it or not. So let's give it a shot.
that was an experience. First of all, this thing comes off super easily from the board. So uh, yeah, I had a little bit of struggles with that. Other than that, the dagger in the middle of the board made it really difficult to uh, to not go upwind. So the wind, the board would always push upwind, and driving was quite hard because you kind of have to put pressure on the opposite side of the board uh, due to the dagger in the middle, and the sail is just <laughs> so insanely unstable. It's unreal. Uh, it's, the pressure points are all over the place. I mean, I didn't expect anything else, but then feeling it is quite funny. I, getting going, just windsurfing slowly forth and back, I don't think it's so difficult with this gear, but then when you start to get planing and want to go a bit faster, man, it's it's hard, this gear. It's, it really makes you work. Um, might be a bit too windy for that now, I'm not sure, but definitely a lot of fun and it was well worth trying it out and seeing what windsurfing was like back in the days and now now i want to try something faster and a little bit more modern so what i'm doing now is i'm putting this super narrow slalom board with my slalom sail from the 1990s this is i think uh, mistral energy it's called and <laughs> I'm curious if this will even work. My assumption was that this board is too small for the sail, too narrow. Um, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun and I think uh, it's getting windy now, so it's a good time to try this out. It's also a good time to subscribe to the channel if you're not yet, because uh, we're always having a lot of fun here. And that's what I'm going to do now, have some fun. actually super sick I mean I didn't expect to have this much fun it goes fast this thing it, it goes fast and it's super funny because because it's so narrow when you drive I like I put my foot in the water because it's so narrow and uh, it's it's tricky to drive but it's super fun it's so different to, to a slalom board nowadays it's like it really feels like it's on rails a lot of the board is touching the water compared to my board. My board is flying more over the water, but that makes it actually very controllable. Um, because it's so narrow, it's kind of hard to to balance when you're not planning and to get going. That's maybe a little bit more difficult than a modern board. But man, it's fun. It's it's really fun. That was sick. <laughs> about breaking the board, breaking my neck, breaking everything. Yeah, and now I'm broken and I'm totally done. Okay guys, that is it for this video. I had a lot of fun and I'm gonna go home now because it's getting really cold. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave it a like. And if you're new here, obviously subscribe. And I will say, I see you in the next video. Bye.